Hello there and welcome to our week-ending episode of Puha Sports today as we get set for the start of the Premier League season proper, which also means there goes our weekends. But with concerns of riots in the UK, the Premier League has called off this first Everton match this weekend and that fixture is the only postponement affecting the schedule this week. We will look at the full fixtures in a moment, but as promised, it's time for Puha Sports Top 10 Reasons to Watch the Premier League Season. Now, we've investigated, analysed and put together the list. Well, it took us about an hour to come up with it, but it's all in good fun. So let's start with number 10. And at 10 is Manchester United. Well, actually, it should be Manchester United fans. Well, they stuck it to the Liverpool guys after winning the 19th title. So just imagine what will happen if they won the 20th. Bookmakers William Hill puts United at 7-4 to to win the Premiership, while uh, Liverpool are at 40-1. Watch what unfolds, but for Liverpool fans, warning, because it could be hazardous to your health. At number 9 is Chelsea's new manager, Andre villas boas I, just like many others, have been impressed by his approach to coaching. But can his youthful demeanour save him from Roman Abramovich, who has a checkbook on one hand and an axe on the other? And that brings us to number 8, the sack race. Not what you played in school, but that dreaded title of being the first manager to be sacked in the Premier League. Blackburn's Steve King and QPR's Neil Warnock are ahead in the odds. Blackburn's owners, the Bankies, are already preparing to say somebody's going to get hurt real bad as Skybet puts Keane at 11-4 to, to get the boot. On par with Warnock, while Newcastle's Alan Pardew is in third. Village Royals was given 33-1 to one chance of being axed and the, he's the second least likely person to get sacked this season. The most highly unlikely manager to get the boot this season goes to Kenny Dalglish, who fittingly is at number 7 of who has spots top 10 reasons to watch the Premier League this season. King Kenny is like the chosen one at Anfield and he's worshipped wherever he goes. But will he deliver on his promise of a revival of the Reds? Will his gamble with the youngsters he has brought in get them back into the top 4 or even obtain a silverware or two? Once again, watch to find out what happens. Now we've come to number 6, the battle of the cellar dwellers. Avoiding being at the bottom of the table at Christmas time is one situation every club fears as it holds a curse of eventually getting them relegated. So the fight to stay above the bottom three will begin as soon as the season kicks off. Now since Spurs have always had difficulties in beating teams that begin with W, I think it's best just to ship out every team that begins with W from the Premier League. We've already bumped West Ham out, all that's left are Wigan, West Brom and also Wolves. Bookmakers William Hill puts Wigan at 2-1 for going down, West Brom at 4-1 and Wolves at 5-2. It just could happen, so watch the Premier League. Next to number 5, the one to watch, and they are Fulham. Their pool has been good at home and in the past three seasons have made good appointments. Roy Hodgson in 2007, leading them to a Europa Cup final. Mark Hughes in 2009, who helped them finish 8th last season. And now Martin Newell, the former Spurs manager. Will he go one better? You just have to wait and see. Next to number 4, and we just can't leave out the referees. Season after season, the man in the middle and his assistants have played their part in dubious decisions. Recently, there has been a call for referees to give post-match interviews explaining decisions made during a match. It's a no-go for the season, so expect more dubious calls by the officials. And there's also that notion that they always favour Manchester United. Will the standing order continue? Well, now it's over to the top three reasons why you should watch the Premier League. And at number three, it's Arsene Wenger. Of late, he has been getting a lot of slack from the fans for not delivering any silverware for the past seven seasons. And year after year, he has shown his frustration. Touchline arguments, unsportsmanship-like behaviour and childlike tantrums like the water bottle kicking incident. Now watch the faces, the many faces of Arsene Wenger in the Premier League this season. And now we come to number two and it goes to Fernando Torres. He has the title for the most expensive goal in the Premier League last season. The one he scored against West Ham. He's only one for Chelsea last season. £50 million, pounds, one goal. Will he find his form this season? Uh, well, not at the start as he's out injured with a mild concussion to his head. Obtained in Spain's friendly with Italy yesterday. We think he will double his previous season's tally to two goals this season. And the number one reason you should watch the Premier League this season is Wayne Rooney. He has had problems in recent times to find the back of the net. So if you're watching him this season, don't pay attention to his ability but rather his hairline, his new hairline. Rooney hit headlines in the early part of the off-season when he went for a hair replacement procedure. Should do him a world of difference in the confidence department which I think will help him find the back of the net again. Or at least start wearing a hairnet to keep any new growth on his crown. 
So there you have it, Puha Sports Top 10 Reasons to Watch the Premier League this season. If we have offended anyone, well, it's a long season, so get used to it. And just before we leave you, here's the fixtures in the Premier League this weekend. Liverpool Sunderland is my pick to watch, especially if they feel Jordan Henderson. Keep an eye for the Fulham Villa match as well. Then there's the new boys Rangers at home to Bolton, while fellow promoted side Norwich are away at Wigan. And we will be with the Malaysian Toon Army for this week's edition of Fans Life as they take on Arsenal. And a double episode special as our second Fans Life coverage will be with the Chelsea fans on Sunday when they visit Stoke. United will be away at West Brom and on Monday night, it's a baptism of fire for Swansea when they take on Manchester City. And that's it for today. Until Monday's update, have a fantastic footballing weekend. I'm Patrick for the team saying it's bye for now.